guys, it's GamerAimer here. So today, I have a pretty sweet pickup video for you. So all of these items I actually picked up while I was at this pretty awesome video game store near me. Anytime I step foot in that place, I find something that I didn't have in the collection and something that I need for the collection. So I have some footage from the store and I even have a pretty sweet trade. So let's go ahead and see what I got. So just to go ahead and talk about this video game store. So this is located in Joppa, Maryland. It's located at the Joppa Town Flea Market. Their hours kind of differ because they're only open Thursday through Sunday. And they have some different times on those particular days where Friday they're open a lot later than Saturday and Sunday. So it usually works out for me as I can make it there pretty often even though their schedule is pretty limited but they have so much stuff so you walk into the flea market you have the little amish place on the left where they have all kinds of different food items candy just all kinds of actual home cooked meals and just some really great tasting food and then if you pass that and you go all the way to the back of the place to the right you'll see that Gamers Paradise has this huge video game place set up. So when you walk in their little section, you notice tons of video games. They literally have everything from the older games all the way up to the new gen systems, and they have some amazing deals. So for their newer games, they have a whole Nintendo Switch section, and they just got in a ton of limited run games and some from just other pretty cool physical media places that are pretty limited like strictly limited and things like that so they get in tons of stuff for trade they constantly are putting out more and more items there's tons of stuff in the back that they still haven't even put out they have tons of rare games i've gotten countless expensive super nintendo and nintendo games there i even completed my nintendo 64 set of games and that is where I completed most of them at, as I found tons of amazing deals along the way. They have tons of consoles and boxes and console variants and just other rare controllers and items on the top shelves all around the whole entire flea market section that they have. And there is literally everything. I found Magnavox Odyssey games there, Vectrex, Neo Geo, Turbo Graphics. They have tons of games in their cases as well. Those ones are more of the expensive games. So you'll see tons of Super Nintendo, Nintendo, N64, even a Sega Genesis section of just carts. And then they have these tables in the middle that are just jam packed full of video game carts. So you see tons for the Nintendo, Super Nintendo, N64, Genesis, 32X, just anything else. They even have import games. I found tons of Super Famicom, I've seen the Japanese Dreamcast games, they have Japanese PlayStation 1 games, they have a whole section of just every single game for every single console. And then I really like Behind the Counter because that's where we're talking about some of those rare, expensive, and just hard to find uncommon games. So they have just a crazy amount of stock of all of these games. I just keep going back and every single time I go there I find something new or something that maybe has been on my want list for quite some time I've just found some amazing items there and they're always willing to make a deal so I just love going in there So they have two full sections in this one area where it's mostly video games they do have some comics and toys as well scattered in so you'll see tons of the vintage lines like Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles Pokemon, you'll see some wrestlers, you'll even see some Transformers, Power Rangers, and just tons of comics and other strategy guides and collector's editions back on that side. So there's always something for any type of collector there. And then they have a whole separate area where they just have movies, like DVDs, Blu-rays, and things like that. So that's always pretty cool to check out as well. 
but I just love going there for the video games. So we'll go ahead and take a look at some of these games that I actually picked up. So first of all, I saw this really cool Lara Croft Interact, and this is a pretty awesome memory card. So this is part of the collector's edition. This is number 15,911 of 200,000. So there were actually a pretty good bit of these released. I do have one that's actually sealed still, but I needed a loose one for the collection that I can go ahead and display with some of my other Lara Croft items. So this is pretty sweet. And I just found it for a few dollars there. So this is definitely pretty awesome. And then I saw this item sitting on the counter. They had just got this in. They didn't even clean or resurface the discs or anything just yet. So, of course, when I saw this collector's edition for Crash Bandicoot, I knew I had to have it in the collection. This is something that I've been wanting for quite some time. It comes with three great games in here. And as you can tell from this pretty awesome Crash Bandicoot employee promotional pretty awesome polo you'll know right here that i am a huge fan of the playstation and of crash bandicoot so this is definitely pretty sweet and even on this side it says naughty dog and it says universal interactive studios so even though this polo is just a little bit too large for me i figured i had to wear it so this would have been something that maybe you saw back in the day at various retailers where people who were trying to promote this pretty awesome collector's edition on the PlayStation 1. This really cool cardboard insert box set right here. It says collector's edition with Crash Bandicoot Warped, Crash Team Racing, and Crash Bash. So this is just so cool. Even all of these jewel case games right here. They have this white label and it even says collector's edition. So this is just so cool to have in the collection. They're all in very great shape. And now I have these to go ahead and display with some of my other pretty awesome PlayStation items. So I thought this was definitely a win when I saw this. And then this pretty awesome PlayStation 1 memory card. So this is just so cool. I knew I was going to find some pretty great items the day that I went in there. And I just was not disappointed. And then I saw this game. So this is also for the PlayStation 1. This is called Theme Hospital. It says, it's a matter of laugh or death in Theme Hospital. The latest addition to the theme series design, maintain, and manage a high-tech hospital facility, making the most of limited resources and turning cures into cash. I've seen some people play this before. I think I might even played this back in the day, but I really can't remember too well. So this says, Balancing the Books and the Bedpans, Theme Hospital. So this is definitely pretty sweet. I scored it for such a great deal, and I was just excited to see it in the location, because usually I never have seen this game out and about, and this is the first time actually seeing it, and I just can't believe I found it local. And then on to this Nintendo game. So... Like I said, they have tons of Nintendo games behind the counter, so this was one of them, as it's a little bit more uncommon than some of the others. So this is Ninja Crusaders. So this looks like a really cool Nintendo game. Looks like it'll be a lot of fun, and I just can't wait to play it. It has this white label on here, and nothing looks damaged with it. Even came with this pretty cool little case, so I can go ahead and protect this game. So this is definitely pretty sweet. And then on to the Sega Genesis game. So if you guys saw one of my latest pickup videos, you'll know that I actually found this promotional video game banner of this particular game. It has this whole same image right here. This is from the WWF. It says Wrestling's Rudest and Roughest. And it says Official World Wrestling Federation Licensed Product. So this is a raw. So this is so cool definitely pretty sweet it came complete with the manual and the game everything looks very minty in here so it looks like it was barely played and does not have any rips or tears or dents or anything else in the manual or the label on the cart so this is definitely a great addition as this was such a fun game definitely spent so many hours playing this and I remember it from my childhood so that is definitely pretty sweet 
And then on to this game. So here we have this Robotech Battle Cry. So this says, change or die. Devastated by the Robotech War, Earth struggles to fight off the remaining alien, not even going to say that, invaders. As a transformable Veritech fighter pilot, you must engage the enemy on land in Batloid mode. In aerial dogfights in Guardian mode and in outer space battles in fighter mode. Change into a warrior, change into a hero. Change or die. So this looks really cool. This is for the Nintendo GameCube. Unfortunately, it's not in the actual GameCube case, but I can go ahead and swap this out once I find a better case. As everything else is authentic, we have this manual on here, the game disc, and we have this pretty awesome cover art. So this looks like a really cool game. It says transform on the fly into three Veritech modes, each with special weapons, options, and abilities. Take on tough missions on land, in the air, and in space against swarms of ruthless alien invaders. This one is definitely a great addition as well. Then on to Street Fighter, the Anniversary Collection. So I did not have this one for the PlayStation 2. I figure with a lot of those compilation style games, this would go great in the collection. This is the Anniversary Collection which says best of the best 15 years of street fighter supremacy this awesome compilation features hyper street fighter 2 a blend of five street fighter 2 games in one plus the arcade smash hit street fighter 3 third strike prepare yourself for the ultimate collection of ultimate fighters and it has tons of the classic characters in here and then another compilation style game so here we have this sonics ultimate genesis collection this is the xbox 360 family games so it says nine out of ten by ign.com editor's choice award and this of course says sega because we have sonic the hedgehog xbox 360 platinum hits greatness is earned so this is definitely pretty sweet it has this really clean manual in here this clean game as well it says play the originals that started it all now in hd Relive the glory of your Sega Genesis days with over 40 classic titles from Sonic the Hedgehog to Streets of Rage. So this has enhanced HD graphics, unlockable content, mega multiplayer fun, the biggest Sega Genesis collection ever. So it shows Sonic the Hedgehog 2, Altered Beast, Golden Axe, and Streets of Rage 2. So I'm really excited to see what other classic titles are going to be in here. You can see tons on this front cover right here, Beyond Oasis. Another expensive game. We have tons of these Sonic games, Sonic the Hedgehog, Sonic Spinball, Fantasy Star, Sonic and Knuckles, Vector Man 2, Streets of Rage 3, and just some other great games. So this is definitely pretty sweet. And then I saw this in their little dollar section. So this is one of the games that I got for this pretty awesome weight loss challenge that I'm on. So this right here is for the Xbox 360, the Kinect, requires the Kinect sensor. This says the biggest loser ultimate workout. So of course, I remember this TV show. I remember they were pretty tough trainers. So here this says the biggest loser club, free one month membership, $19.99 value. I bet that's not even active anymore. Free biggest loser workout music mix. Details inside. So right here, it just has a lot of workouts and everything else that you can do. So this will be great in my weight loss challenge. And then on to these last couple games that I picked up. So this first one right here, I have not seen this one at the store before. This is Fighting Masters for the Sega Genesis. And this is definitely pretty sweet. It's not a very expensive game. It's just one that I have not seen complete before with this pretty awesome instruction manual and everything else. And then we have this cartridge. So this says, a giant red sun will go Nova within hours. 12 star systems will be destroyed. One contest will decide who or what survives. 65 devastating attacks. And there are just tons of different characters in here. These pretty crazy looking creatures. 12 different alien champions to select. So it says, from the snapping, tearing claws... And there's even bludgeoning, ecto clubs, and each warrior has a deadly force all their own. So this is a game that I had to add to the collection 
as it has some pretty interesting looking characters on here and I figured I'd try it out since it's a fighting game and then on to this game so this one was a little bit more expensive I've seen this go for over a hundred dollars so this is Granada so this is a pretty awesome tank style looking shooter style game so this is the super strategic defense initiative of the 1990s being intercontinental ballistic missiles and nuclear warheads now the year is 2016 weapons today are limited to super strategic mobile weapons enter granada hypertech cannon tank firepower as we know it today is all but abandoned with granada granada uses shields and radar to create its defense mechanism offensive firepower is provided by the most awesome array of weaponry ever assembled on a battlefield these include multi-directional interceptors, long-range homing missiles, and a device designed to totally obliterate all opposing forces. So this actually looks really cool. This is a one-player game, and this is also complete with the manual and this game card. Barely looks used, so it's in very clean shape, pretty minty looking. So I figured that these would go great in the Sega Genesis collection. As eventually I will try and go for a full set of games so anytime that I can find some pretty uncommon games and some games that look like they're a lot of fun I definitely want to pick them up especially for a great deal so of course while I was at one of my favorite places to buy video games at, I actually met up with a buddy of mine who also traded to the store and picked up some really amazing items so he had tons of items that he just had extras of and some that he didn't want in the collection anymore. I had the same as well. I had tons of duplicate games that I have bought over the years and just tons of games and items that I just had doubles of and no longer needed as I already have tons on display and tons in the collection. So I was able to trade with him a pretty good amount of items for these right here. So this is just a couple of the items that I picked up. So this is a mega memory card, stores up to 100 game saves, easily organize and view game saves for use with the Game Boy Color, Game Boy Pocket, and Game Boy. It says interact on here and it works great with Pokemon. So this is pretty sweet to have. It's fully complete with the box. We have this little manual and we have this huge mega memory card. So this is definitely pretty sweet and you just connect the game in there. So this is definitely a cool addition to the shelves where I have some of my Game Boy items. And then on to this Japanese Game Boy Pocket. This is pretty sweet because when we open this up, it's this little battery pack. So I figured the box art alone was pretty neat as it looks nothing like our boxes here. Then we have this pretty cool little plug right here. And you just go ahead and connect all of this together so this is definitely pretty sweet so here's where you just charge this right on up and you can just go ahead and connect this little thing that has the batteries in it for your Game Boy Pocket and you can just literally put this in your pocket and it just kind of distributes some of the weight so this is definitely a pretty neat and interesting item and it's one that I definitely did not have but I do have tons of these Japanese Game Boy Pockets in the collection with similar art styles on it. So I just really thought it was pretty neat and a pretty cool item that you just don't see every day. And then he had an extra blue Sega Game Gear. So we ended up trading for this as well. So I'll just have to get this cleaned up and get it in a little bit better working shape. But this is definitely great for on display and I did not have a variant of the Sega Game Gear yet. So this will definitely go great in that little Sega area that I have in my game room. So I was pretty excited for this as it's something that I just didn't have and I think it's a really cool color. So I traded for this pretty awesome Interact mobile monitor color LCD screen and this is for the PlayStation 1. So all you have to do is have this little one right here and it just plugs right in so this is one of those pretty cool screens and of course screens are definitely going up in price as a lot of people try and collect these 
So you just go ahead and screw this down. It's pretty nice that it's all pretty convenient where you really don't need all of these extra tools to go ahead and hook this up. There's a little antenna on the back here as well. And there's all of these different color ports and everything else. So this is definitely pretty sweet and this is so cool. So it does actually work. You just obviously have to plug in some things and get this all charged up and everything. So this is pretty sweet where you can just put your games in still. And then now you have this really cool screen on it where you can just play your games a little bit more portable in a way. And then it just closes down on top just like that. It's not really too big or bulky as it fits pretty flush on here. They make tons of different styles of these screens. I just, unfortunately, I did not have one in the collection yet. And I don't have the official one. But this one is definitely still pretty cool as it fits really well. It has all of these different options on here. That's a little bit different than some of the other ones that you can get. So I figured just an extra screen that he had. This would definitely go great in my collection, and I'm looking forward to actually using this. Even though it's a little bit small, it might be a little bit more convenient for me. And then this right here. So this was what I was most excited about during this trade. So this says Atari Lynx. It has this really awesome bag right here with this handle. It has this little strap on it. So if we just go ahead and open this up, We have some pretty awesome stuff in here. So this is where you would put all of your Atari Lynx games at. And of course we have this box copy of Paperboy. It says wake up the neighborhood, jump abroad your heavy duty bike for a ride through the burbs. Avoid hazards like motorcycles, brawling dudes, mad dogs, and crazed grannies. Bust the windows of those non-customers, deliver to your subscribers and earn big points by mastering the radical training course. Keep it up for a week and you'll get to keep your job. So this is definitely pretty sweet. So I thought this was a great addition as I think I have a loose copy of this game, but I think my label on it is a little bit messed up. So here's the manual, the registration card, and the game is actually in the system. So here we have the Satori Lynx. So this one is a different model of the one that I have. There's actually a couple different ones. So this is definitely pretty sweet as we have this really cool system right here. This is pretty bulky, it's pretty big, but it's actually a lot of fun as it kind of fits in your hands with these little parts that kind of just raise up. And then I checked my Atari Lynx and I just think it needs a pretty strong charge on it because I was having some issues with it. So this is definitely pretty sweet. Shows where all the batteries and stuff go in here. Of course you open this part up and we have this game in here. So this is where I have the Paperboy at for the Atari Lynx. So this is definitely a pretty cool addition to my handheld collection. And I'm just really excited to add it as I did not have this case. So here we have this charger cable for it. Just hooks right up. It says Atari on it has this pretty big bulky plug on it. And then we have all of these batteries in here, which I'll probably have to get some new ones. And then there's even a car charger for this. So this is way too cool. So I can definitely have a lot of fun with this. And it's definitely pretty convenient to have it in this pretty awesome style case. So this is definitely another great piece and another great item that I am just so glad that I traded for as it's something that I would have eventually picked up as I think I have the original box for this model as I know it wasn't the particular model that I had already in my collection. So I was so excited to stop by my local flea market this past week I found tons of great items while I was there. All of these I got while I was in store and then these items are just a bonus trade that I did with the local buddy of mine who also stopped by the store. So all of these items are just pretty sweet looking and I just can't wait to play a lot of these. 
is here we have tons of compilation style games. We have the Street Fighter Anniversary Collection. We have this pretty cool Sega Genesis. It's the Sonic's Ultimate Genesis Collection. So this is pretty sweet as it has tons of classic games from that console. I even found a workout game for my series. This Robotech game for the GameCube. This theme hospital game that I've been dying to play as it's a pretty cool simulation style game. And then this really awesome Crash Bandicoot Collector's Edition that was literally just traded in before I got there. So it really looks great with this pretty awesome promotional employee polo that I've already had in the collection. This is just so cool with this classic Crash Bandicoot character right here. I've also seen a really cool jacket with this image on here, but the jacket goes for so much money. So I'm glad that I found this one when I did, because it says PlayStation on this sleeve, and it even has this pretty awesome Universal Interactive Studios and Naughty Dog logos on the side. Then this Lara Croft memory card for the PlayStation 1. This pretty awesome NES game, the Sega Genesis games, some awesome shoot 'em ups and wrestling and beat 'em up style games. And then all of these trades, so this really awesome screen for the PlayStation 1, it's this portable attachment, this Atari Lynx system with this really awesome bag, comes with the original charger and a car charger, this Paperboy game complete in the box, so another game is added to the collection, this really cool blue Sega Game Gear, this mega memory card, and this really awesome battery pack for the Game Boy Pocket. So all of these items are just great additions to the game collection. Which one of these was your favorite? And does this store look pretty awesome? So let me know in the comments below what you think about all of these pickups and these trades here. Which was your favorite item? And are any of these games absolute must-haves in your collection? Do you really enjoy playing these? So of course, thank you guys for watching. Make sure you like and subscribe. Go ahead and check out my other videos and stay tuned for more.